Hi, I'm Gus Cook, an application specialist here at Blue Marble Geographics. And today we're going to be answering the question, how do I classify and extract utility poles in Global Mapper Pro? So the first step in any point cloud analysis is going to be to classify your ground. And we can access our ground classification tool through the automatic point cloud analysis dialog, which we can select right here. I'm not gonna go into any detail about doing ground or vegetation or buildings, but we've already done that work. Once we've classified our ground, then we can move on to our poles. Um, so up here, we have our shared parameters. Uh, we have a minimum and maximum diameter and setting these thresholds is a really good way to make sure that vegetation isn't accidentally going to be um, included in your utility pole classification. We also have a minimum pole length, so a minimum height uh, for each pole. That's a good way to, if your area of interest has any kind of maybe flag poles or uh, shorter other similar structures, uh, differentiate those and so those don't get included as well. And we also have a minimum height above ground and this is gonna be for the top of the utility pole. We also have the resolution that we are going to perform our classification at. We're gonna do it at one meter. And then we can move down to our classification section here. So we can check the option for the classification type that we wanna run. We're gonna do pole. And we have two options here, a max likelihood and our smoothing SVM method. Max likelihood is a segmentation-based classification method. If I switch to color by segmentation, we can get a quick idea about how segmentation works. It divides your point clouds into these segments, and then it's going to apply the correct classification based on um, that set of criteria for the points that it finds that, uh, that match it. So I'm gonna switch back to color by classification. So once we're ready to go, we can either choose between max likelihood or smoothing SVM. Smoothing is going to smooth our point cloud as the name indicates before running the classification. And this is going to reduce a lot of the noise that might affect our utility pool um, classification. It's going to get rid of a lot of those noise points, make our data set generally less noisy. It's gonna improve our classification results. So once we've run that, there's a couple ways that we can kind of verify and manually clean up if necessary um, our utility pool classification. And the first of these is gonna be using our 3D viewer to get a good look at how our classification, our automatic pole classification ran um, and how it was able to identify those points. The second method we can use is the path profile tool. So if I use my path profile tool and trace a line along these um, utility poles and power lines, and I right click to end, we can see we can get this nice cross cut of our data. And we can also select points within the path profile tool to perform manual adjustment if needed. So once you've performed your classification um, and you've identified the points that make up your utility poles, you can move on to feature extraction. And this is also accessed through the same automatic point cloud analysis dialog. I'm gonna open that dialog back up. I'm gonna close my classification tab here and open up feature extraction. Now we're gonna use these same shared parameters here for my minimum and maximum diameter, minimum height, uh, minimum height above ground. And I'm just gonna check the option for whichever type of feature I wanna extract. Once I've run that, we can take a quick look at the results here. So I'm going to turn off my point cloud here and I have, this is just a little bit of terrain that I uh, generated from my classified ground points. And I've also, using the feature extraction tool, created these um, point features, each representing the location of each of my utility poles. If I select one with the feature info tool, 
You can see each one of them has an elevation and a height attribute. And lastly, I've also gone into a configuration here and I have assigned to this particular feature type a 3D model. So now if we open up in the 3D viewer, each of my extracted features is represented by one of these utility pole 3D models. Um, and just lastly, um, as a demonstration of some of the other uh, types of extraction you can perform, I've also extracted my power lines here. I'm gonna turn those on, as well as my building footprints, walls, and side planes. And so here we go. Um, so for our final output here, we have 3D vector features, again, representing the locations of all of the utility poles within our area of interest. If you'd like to learn more about how to classify and extract utility poles from your point cloud data in Global Mapper Pro, you can visit us at our website at bluemarblegeo.com or send us an email to geohelp at bluemarblegeo.com. Thanks for watching.